Hey everybody, this is Rachel with My Life After. This is a vlog talking about what it's like to lose a child to suicide. Um, I'm going to start this vlog a little different and I'm going to ask for your help. A lot of people say, I wish I could help you. You want to know how you can help me right now? Subscribe. Subscribe. Share my message. Tell your friends about it. Tell your coworkers about it. Say, hey, there's this lady out there that lost her son to suicide and she's trying really hard to reach people. Let them know that, hey, this girl is getting messages all the time from people saying, I felt alone and I watched your messages and I saw what this would do to my family. And it made me want to live another day and wanted me to get help because I knew I was important to my family. And you ask me, you say, well, how does that help, right? Well, I'm going to tell you. See, the way things work is that the more you guys comment, YouTube says, hey, there's something going on here. Let's play her videos. Let's suggest them to people who are looking up suicide. Let's try to play her videos versus I pranked my mom and pretended to commit suicide. Did you know that that's a thing? They're getting ratings out there by scaring the shit out of their freaking mom. Funny. So the more that you guys comment keep it kind. The more that you guys subscribe, the more that you share, and the more that you talk about it, the more you're killing the stigma. For me, it's a little too late for some shit, you know? So you want to do me a favor? You let me know everything that I'm doing and everything that I'm pouring into here isn't for nothing. You make me feel like, um, my message is important. That people actually care and they don't just subscribe to... Instagram models and tidy eating pod challenges. You want to help me? You don't want to do any of that? That's fine. You want to help? Talk about your mental illness. If you don't want to talk about it, talk about mine. I share it here every day. I am allowing you guys in on my world. Do you know why I do this? Because I would give anything to have my son back. Anything. And since I can't do that, I want to talk about Isaiah. I want to talk about mental health. I want to tell you guys how much you matter and how much you can make a difference. And I'm begging you guys to join me. I am begging you to join me and be the light. Be Isaiah's army of light. I remember being a little girl. I was just talking to Steve about this the other day. And I remember being a little girl and I said... I wrote the president on my own. And, uh, well, I had to be when Bush Sr. was president, so I was pretty little. And I wrote him about saving the rainforest, not for a school project, but because I just, I wanted to save the world. And I remember at my school, I got a petition started because 
my friends read the Babysitter Club books, and I wanted those books in the library for my friends, so I started a petition, and we got those library books. I've always believed if we put our mind to it, we could achieve things. There was a little girl that believed that she could achieve things. I want that little girl to know that she was right. I don't want to show my little girls the kind of power that one voice has. So don't do it for me. And you don't have to do it for Isaiah. But prove to Isaiah's little sister is that being the light is important. That there's other people out there fighting for us. And Isaiah's memory. I am so lost right now. All I can do, Steve says, it can't, it can't, it can't be like this all the time. I can't think about anything else. He's everywhere. So many songs. So many places. Favorite foods. I have cried so many times today. And I'm probably going to try to split this into two. Because I feel like I have two totally different important things to talk about. One thing that I've learned is that losing Isaiah has been like losing a limb. I'm, I'm sorry if I offend anybody that's lost. I'm always worried about hurting people's feelings, but I'm doing my best. But like, losing your arm. You can still do all the things that you used to do for the most part without that arm. It's going to be challenging. You're going to have to learn to do it in a completely different way than you did it before. But you can do it. It's going to be harder and you're going to miss your arm. But you can do it. You can go your whole life without that arm. But every single day when you roll over, you're going to know it's not there. And then there's going to be moments in time for a little bit where you forget, for just a moment that you forget that it's not there. You can be happy. You can be sad. You can be every, almost everything you used to be. But you're always going to be missing a part of you. How do I describe Isaiah to me? I know I've told you guys he was my favorite person and I, I always worry that that's going to hurt the girls with Steve, but he saved my life. It was a 17 year old kid, baby having a baby. He made me want to be a good person, a good mom. He defined who I was. He was my quadruple jinx, you owe me a soda. Person.
just so you guys know, this is kind of embarrassing. Pause my face at any given time. Do you ever catch yourself in a picture? I'm not photogenic. Uh, yeah, you ever look at yourself and you're like, doing stuff like that? Yeah. And I've got tears running down my face and I'm snotting and I notice I do this kind of thing a lot and you're like, geez. <laughs> this isn't easy for me. But I do it because I hope it's making a difference. I do it because I feel like there's a need. And I do it because I'm, I want to. I've got two little girls out there who need their mommy. Thanks for being on this journey with me. Again, please comment. Even if you don't have anything you want to say, just say thanks for sharing. Please talk about it. You can make you can make a difference too. All right, guys, thanks for being on this journey with me. I'll ask you again. Please subscribe, like, comment. Please be the light for yourself. Please be the light for others if you're capable. Please remember that I am very vulnerable. And yes, I've had to delete a lot of nasty comments off of here. It's the internet. I do my best to respond when I can and I try to um, just, what I'm asking is just please remember that I, I'm not here to, I'm not a therapist. I'm just giving you guys, I'm, I'm letting you, I'm letting you on board. I'm letting you on my boat. You want to take this ride with me? You can hop on and jump off anytime. Just make sure you got a life jacket on. I, you know, go hop off to a different boat. All right. Hey, Miley! Miley, where are you going? Miley, where are you going? Oh, little Bella, I'm looking for a frog. Do you see a frog? No, I don't see a frog, Bella. 